My name is Vahid Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Well, thank you, Vahid, for inviting me for this awesome chat. And today is Monday. It's my favorite day. And I'm here in Toronto. It's 2 p.m. after noon. It's a little bit rainy, but it's a beautiful way to start the week because the rain is refreshing the trees and the flowers. It's not that cold, so we're welcoming a spring. And I am uh, very excited for a new week. It's all usually the best day of my day of my week because I'm excited to create new goals and accomplish my my goals. Yeah. Awesome. So let's dive into it for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I know you're in fitness. How important is it for us to have a routine, especially now that we're in, <laughs> kind of we're staying home or social distancing ourselves? How important is it for us to have a fitness routine and why is it beneficial to us mentally, not just physically? Yes, Vahid, when we were struck by, by the whole change with the quarantine, which now is a lockdown, which now is the new norm of living, which we don't know how long it's going to last, I was prepared for this time. For some reason, I was mentally prepared for a challenge like this. So I continue with my daily morning routine. So I start my day setting up my attitude to embrace the day, whatever happens in the day. It happens and now we're locked down at home. So we now have to adapt to the circumstances, but it could be anything else. It could be the apocalypse. It could be a zombie attack. Anything can happen in the outside world. We need to be very happy on the inside. So the best way for me to tell anybody to be fit, you have to have a fit mind. Mm -hmm. To have a fit mind, you first have to be connected to your true purpose. So like I know what I'm here for. I'm here to support my community. I'm serving more than a thousand people to, to walk tall, to improve their posture because it's my story behind. I had scoliosis and I see the difference of being having a very poor quality of life because my back couldn't let me sleep properly and having a normal life of a teenager to now be 35 years old and I look amazing and I'm feeling super happy. So that's my purpose. That makes me start my day 100% focused on that. So I think that's the first thing. You have to have a mental, mental focus, first thing. Then for moving, just do what you love. Some people like dancing, some people like yoga. I'm a yoga and Pilates teacher for over 10 years. And I like to move in a way that I keep the alignment in my body. Everybody out there, I welcome you to my class at 2 p.m. I'm teaching classes for everybody to serve the world. And these classes are complimentary for my community. You can sign into the Zoom call and you can get to see me. I can get to see you. And it's awesome. It's only a 40 minutes class where we are going to sweat and we're going to improve your posture so you can feel awesome. So I think that's very important to have a um, healthy mind. It's going to give you the actions to have a healthy body. The second thing and the most important is your nutrition. You got to eat healthy. No matter what, you can be training really hard. But if you are nourishing with um, toxic that's what's going to happen. Your skin is going to start breaking. I'm 35 years old. And I see, you see, you have no wrinkles. I have these, but it's because I'm always happy and I'm always doing these things. Uh, my hair is very strong. I had some issues with my health before when I was doing other type of approaches. I found my approach that, he, that heals me from the inside. So remember to keep your water. So water is essential. Hydration is super important. And now that we are getting the sunshine, go outside, get some sun, walk outside, bare feet. And nourish yourself with proper food. It's just so easy, especially if you live on a world that you have the options out there, no problem. Simple things. You don't have to be an expert on this. You just have to listen to your body. Awesome. So here's, here, go, going back, if I'm, if, if I'm living in the city and, and, and I'm busy, I'm an entrepreneur, all that, how important is it for me to exercise? Again, it goes back, if I'm busy, what would you say is the minimum that I need to do to keep my body going so my brain could function? Because I know a lot of entrepreneurs may not have a lot of time in their hand. So what's the minimum? Obviously, everybody can extend it for however time that they want. That I'm okay. But the minimum time, what do you recommend based on your yeah. experience working with this many people? Yeah, that's a good question. First of all, we're all busy. And the, the way as we structure our, our day is super, super primal to get the goal 
accomplished. So I tell my clients, less is more. It has been proved that when you work less, I think we lost her for a second. I think we lost you. Did we lose her? Yeah, we did. All right, let me try. Okay, I, I think you're back. Uh, yeah? Did I lose you? Yeah, we lost you. You lost, we lost, you lost both of us. Okay. So here, so I'm gonna... I was just saying the less is more. So less is more. So I recommend the people to focus on the first thing in the morning so you can take the first hour of your day to connect to your body. So I could recommend everybody to work out for 20 minutes first thing in the morning. As soon as you wake up, get water and then start moving. Whatever you want to do. You can do 20 minutes of like burpees, push ups, high plank. You can do 20 minutes of yoga, 20 minutes of pilates, whatever you like, dancing, whatever you want to do. 20 minutes. Get the sweat going. First in the morning, you're connected. You don't, have your, you don't have your video. So hold on. Let me, end, let, me, let, me, let me exit you and then try to watch the live one more time so I can get you in again. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. Give me a second. I'm going to get her back. I'm going to see if we can get her back. She's watching. There we go. I got her. Cool. Let's try it one more time. I think we lost a little connection over there. Okay, we're back. Go ahead. You were saying that we have to set the goals. Go ahead. Yeah, so basically, I recommend everybody to get moving as soon as you wake up. During the first hour as you wake up, get your body moving so you get that task completed. If you have more time before dinner, you can get a second workout before dinner. So it's even better. But get 20 minutes in the morning. You can do... Simple routine. You can do, okay, my goal is to do 20 burpees, two minutes plank, and 100 push-ups. Break it down within 20 minutes and do it. That's it. Next week, you can do more. Yeah, do more. But at least get it going every day. If you want to do a second workout before dinner, you can do that. And then you can change it up. You can say, okay, in the morning, I'm going to do my cardiovascular. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to be doing my core or like I'm going to be doing a hike outside. And then I'm going to be doing um, jiu-jitsu, you know, whatever you enjoy, just do it. And you don't have to do a whole hour. Start with 10 minutes and then slowly go to 20 minutes. And if you want more, add more. But less is more when you want to start because you want to accomplish. There is a big reason when you accomplish something, you feel fulfilled then you will continue going because the whole idea is to get a habit. When you have a habit, then that becomes of you. Nobody's going to tell you to train because it's part of your life. For me, training is part of my life. Nobody's going to tell me, hey, did you train? No, because it's part of my life. So this is something very important. You don't have to go for more than an hour. Just do less and just do it. For nutrition, what are the three items that I can take out of my regular diet that you see that you think is toxic and what are the three things that I can add? Yeah, that's very, very important question because I do have a, a, a protocol that is called the anti-inflammatory diet. So with the anti-inflammatory diet, the most important that like you just told me is to take away what is causing the inflammation. Because if you start adding supplements and you start adding things while you still keep the main problem, which is what is causing the problem, then you're not doing anything. So yes, you first start removing what's causing inflammation. The main causes of inflammation are food sensitivities. So your body may be sensitive to the general things like gluten. It could be, it could be dairy, gluten, it could be soy. It could be like high levels of artificial flavors and extra you know, packages of things. So I will start simply removing the dairy and the gluten and see how you feel. So that's a good one. The other one is to remove anything that is um, added on the packages. And you can see like the sulfates, you can see uh, preservative, and just go for the simple food that you can find on, the, on, the, on your supermarket, right? You can just make it like that. And hydration. So hydration is super important. If you are drinking two cups of coffee and one liter of water, you're pretty much dehydrated. So I would recommend you to drop the coffee for one coffee a day and then get more water. Water could be as water with lemon, water with apple cider vinegar. You can have simple uh, water. Just try to get more into the rhythm of drinking water. 
drinking, not sipping water, actually drinking water. I love the way you said drinking the water. <laughs> okay, so remove that. What are the three superfoods that you think has helped you so far that people can implement into their diet that they may not be thinking that they're superfood, you know, superfood or super nutrition for them? Because I know a lot of people, fruits, vegetables are included. But what are, the, what are your top three choices? Um, well, I have competed in shows. So I have been very strict with my nutrition as part of the fitness shows. I did six years of fitness shows, nine shows together. So I was a freak about food. And then slowly, slowly realized that we need to have a balance and you also need to know what suits your body. So in terms of like superfood, I don't think there is like a superfood. I think we just have to create a diversity that suits your microbiome, you know. So this is depending on how your gut is in this moment. I was vegetarian, it suits me until it didn't suit me. I'm not vegetarian anymore. In this moment, I am carnivore. I only eat meat, eggs, and organs. And I'm carnivore, I follow this with doctors. I know a lot of people are against me because I was vegetarian, I was vegan, and all of a sudden now I'm, I'm in the other end of the spectrum but it's, feed, it's, it's healing me, you know? So you have to listen to your body. In terms of like superfood, I think the most important is water. Again, I keep saying water, but it's something that most of my clients are not uh, taking care of. So every time I do the first consultation, I see that 90% of people that come to, to, to be coached by me, they're not drinking enough water. So I think that's number one, hydration, that simple. And number two, it will be taking away the alcohol. There's a lot of uh, addiction into food addiction and alcohol. So we need to control this because having wine, one glass is okay, two glasses maybe, but there's some people that are having a glass every day, maybe four glasses. So that also causes. So in terms of superfood, it's very hard to, to tell you because there is a spirulina, there is hemp seeds, it's all this but that's not a, even a superfood. You are the superhuman. So you find what suits you. And water is number one. I think that's the only one that I would suggest to everybody. Just drink water. <laughs> you made it very easy. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning and sharing, or this afternoon in your case, where people can find you. Yeah, so I have been out there with Joa Fitness for over 10 years, I have traveled the world. I'm so blessed that I'm able to do what I love globally. So I have gone to Australia, Singapore. I'm now in Canada, in Toronto. But you can find me anywhere in Joa Fitness, in social media. Everything is Joa Fitness. My biggest uh, attention is on Instagram. You can DM me, um, personally manage my Joa Fitness, so I will respond to you. I invite you to be part of my class every day at 2 p.m., you have a yin yoga restorative classes two a week, and then you got also the posture class based on Pilates and core. So I'm there with you guys. You're not alone. If you feel that you have gained five kilos, you feel like you're a little bit off, I'm here to help you. I provide a lot of information. Go to my, to my channel. I post information of my clients' meals. You can see it's very simple to cook. This is the time for you to experience what is to be like a chef at home, to start experiencing the flavors and to enjoy this time at home because this this may not happen never again. So you're here with me, I'm here with you, and I just want to serve the world. And thank you so much for inviting me. Anytime, I'm here for you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking this time. Hopefully, we'll get to do more videos. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Gracias. Bye-bye.